Hey everybody, today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to make a metal tone using only Reaper stock plugins. Now obviously this isn't the ideal method because it is a way better use of your time to just get a preamp and some uh, cab IR packs or whatever because they're just a lot better sounding but say you can't for whatever reason or you just want to have fun, I mean here's how I did it. So this is sort of my guitar as it is right now. It's just dry, so. And, um, yeah, uh, there's no plugins on it just yet. And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to open up. Uh, the first thing we're going to add on there in our FX chain is Rhea Gate. And this is just to block out all of the sort of unwanted sound. So if I play now. You can hear that. I mean, if I'm not playing, then you're not going to hear anything. Um, so, uh, the next thing we're going to add is General Dynamics. It's a, another stock plugin, and basically, it's a compressor. Um, if I play, and I, I should point out, I'm just muting myself just so that you don't hear my picking, because if I don't, it sounds like. <laughs> doesn't sound good. So we're going to um, sort of draw in a little bit of compression here. And so of course that little line right there is representing of the sort of input volume. So if I sort of, you can see here, if I hold down control, I can actually draw this sort of line here and it will tell it if it gets above this point to just uh, boost it. And so if I do that right now, you can see that, you know, it ended up uh, compressing it a bit, which is what we want because we're sort of simulating the compression that you get with distortion. Speaking of distortion, our next two plugins are going to be an EQ module and then a distortion uh, module FX thing. So now, if I play my guitar, you'll notice that, well, one of two things happens, or two things happen. <laughs> one is that it sounds terrible. It sounds garbage. Um, the second thing is that it's only coming through in the left ear. So we're just going to change that channel mode to stereo. Um, but to fix the first problem is that it sounds garbage, we have to keep in mind that we're sort of creating a preamp almost. Uh, Rhea Fur is going to take care of simulating the cabinet. We are um, taking care of making the preamp. So uh, in order to make it sound good, we actually want to cut out the low frequencies in this pre-distortion EQ because distorted low frequencies sound really, well, they sound really bad. So I'm just going to take this EQ here and um, cancel out a huge amount of the low end and a somewhat moderate amount of the uh, highs. And now we have this. Now that is significantly better, um, but it's not quite as good as we'd like it. So I'm gonna boost here just a little bit and boost the highs just a bit too. Um, and we're going to raise this distortion quite a bit. Now, I usually go up to around 37, hardness all the way up, and now it sounds like this. Um, so that sounds a lot more aggressive, a lot more punchy, and that's sort of what we're getting at. Um, so once we have that sort of dialed in, uh, we're going to want to open up the sort of star of the show, uh, Reifer. Now this is sort of a, um, once again, I'll link the video to sort of explain how to get these presets. Not all of them, of course, these are just sort of cabs that I've sampled and then created cabinets of before. Um, but uh, it's a really easy process. I actually discovered it myself. I'm, <laughs> I, I'm quite proud of myself, I won't lie. Um, it's a really cool process. Once again, I'll link the video. It's really short. You'll need at tops five minutes. Um, but we're going to sort of open up our, uh, this is a mess of boogie uh, cab. And then, yeah, let's hear out how it sounds so far. <laughs> Thank you. 
It sounds pretty great. I mean, for one that is using entirely stock plugins, it's pretty great. So obviously though, if we listen, it's really muffled, it's really muted. So in order to sort of fix that, we're going to add in yet another EQ in the end, or sort of at the end of the mix here. And we're just going to sort of mix it as if we were using a sort of normal layout. So I'm gonna boost the highs a bit. Obviously I'm doing this deaf, normally I'd be playing throughout this, but then my sort of picking would go through to the mic and that is not a good time. Uh, I like to lower the, uh, the low mids here just because they kind of cloud up the mix and um, let's see, hear how it sounds right now. That sounds pretty good to me. We're going to raise these mids just a good bit to make it sound a little less scoopy and then... Yeah, that sounds pretty great. Uh, I won't waste your time um, going through and making the sound perfect, but you can get it to sound really, 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 really good. Um, it's just a matter of sort of trial and error and kind of knowing what you're doing. Obviously, you can switch out your cabinets as you will. Um, really, it's just a matter of going nuts. Um, other than that, there's really nothing much else to say. It's a really solid method. Uh, links in the description of everything that you might need if you're not using Reaper as your um, DAW, I will link the plugins that you can actually download from Reaper's website. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much sums it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, see ya.